Okay, I'm making this video because I know it won't do with a price. <laughs> so, so today's course in reference to uh, my meaningless thoughts. All right, so it's a five-point review, lesson 53. But uh, my meaningless thoughts are showing me a meaningless world. I'm upset because I see a meaningless world. A meaningless world engenders fear. God did not create a meaningless world. My thoughts are images which I have made. Okay. Um, my thoughts are images which I have made. Remember AJ said, um, we are encouraged to um, create um, by the manipulators a world. And, and that's really what they're talking about. So the manipulators have certain narratives. Okay. And, you know, out of or out of chaos comes order. So there's intentional chaos created so that the people will clamor and, and ask, beg for order. And they don't mind losing freedom and liberty as they do so. So this is the game. This is their game. This is the game. Um, order from chaos. Okay, but the chaos is intentionally created. So then it can be solved. So these problems can be solved. Um, and that the people actually ask for it. Okay, so I got this comment I want to address in this video. This is why I'm making this video and I'm making it right now. So that I don't I just don't have to, so I don't just run out of time like I do. Um, it's so many cars, so many people, the constant of busyness and movement around me. I find energy draining. I cringe when I have to get in my car to go somewhere. I have the same thing. Like when I go to the grocery store, I, I, I get like, I want to say like $300 worth of food, more than that. Every time I go, <laughs> Um, just so I don't have to go back. <laughs> so, um, but then you say, we're so overpopulated. I have to constantly recenter anyone else feels. Okay. So this over, this idea of overpopulation, um, that's part of the manipulators, uh, agenda. So we have 7.5 billion people, which is a lot. I'm not going to say that's not a lot. This planet is massive. And if all those people were peaceful, if all those people were in a vibration of peace, you wouldn't feel overpopulated. You would feel at peace. If all those other people were holding peace, you wouldn't feel overpopulated. Also, if they, if they all had a high vibration, they would not be in a never-ending um, cycle of consumerism. Um, uh, all right, it's going to sound like I'm putting consumerism down. But if you think about it, if, if everyone held a vibration of 600 peace or more, they would be enjoying their peace and they wouldn't be trying to be happy um, by buying things because that's, that's, a, that's a thing. Um, and that's what I call consumerism. Um, people are manipulated into consumerism, manipulated to buy things they don't really want to buy um, or they don't need, things they don't need. Um, and I'm not just talking about clothes. I'm talking about a lot of, you know, there's a, a huge movement not to trust your own physical body, not to trust other people, uh, which that one, <laughs> uh, that one's okay right now. Like, cause people are not, they're not, they don't have their minds. They're not, they're, they don't have their minds. They're, they don't think things out to its logical end. Trans women are women too. And you put, and, and they're, if, if trans women are women too, then who can't play it out that women get erased from sports over time? I mean, that's just logical, you know. 
Um, and who can't put it together that real predators, all they have to do to get into women's shelters or women's prison is to claim that. Then they're going to do that. I mean, it's already happened. It hasn't happened on a large scale, but that doesn't, but that doesn't mean it's like, oh, let's keep doing this because only a few women got raped in a women's shelter and only a few women got raped in a women's prison. And, you know, and only, only a couple of women got hurt in women's sports. It's like, <laughs> okay. So back to the point, one of the narratives created is overpopulation. People are the problem. When we look at each other as we're the problem, then, you know, we saw this, a young couple that the girl was pregnant. She was like 16. The guy's like 32. <laughs> anyway, they killed themselves because of global warming, carbon dioxide. Now, pollution is a problem. It is a problem. Ab absolutely. And the whole sh lockdown let people see that they could work from home. So that's really, in my mind, that's a super positive because I could see that from before. Why is everybody driving to these buildings? You don't need to, you know, in star Wars, the Jedis would have these meetings and there were the chairs all set up and the, the, uh, the, and the ones there were some present in each place and the other chairs were filled with holograms from the other, but then, so when like Yoda got up to speak, he could go, he would go speak in the center of all the Jedis and whoever got up to speak. So yeah, he was a hologram, but you forget that he's a hologram. But then in his place, he's standing in the middle of the chairs, but those other chairs are filled in with holograms of people who aren't there. So I shared on my regular page, the guy in the box, it's a hologram. That's how I, I knew that they had the technology, you know, okay. They have this technology where you can be, you could be at work and at home. So you don't have to drive to and fro. Then you reduce the clutter. on. The, so the point is we're getting manipulated. We are getting played on the highest level. If you really knew, if you really knew all the ways in which we're getting manipulated and played, well, no, if I just sat here and told you all the ways that I know, and then someone else added and added and added, you'd call us conspiracy theorists. That's what's happening. The people who are pointing out, they're pointing out open source information. They're pointing out where the money goes. The money went here, then in here, then in here. Here's the uh, actual emails. You know, they say they were hacked. Hacked means, yes, those are my emails, but I didn't want you to have them. <laughs> so, but who's watching that? You know, and then the people who do read the emails and say, listen, this is what was in the emails. This is what they're doing. You crazy conspiracy theorist by the same people who are like, why is this? I don't know why they, this, my dad does it to me all the time. I'm like, dad, oh my God, I told you. That's not what's really happening. All right, so the overpopulation thing, it feels overpopulated because number one, you're empathic. That's plain to see. So am I. So we don't like being around people, but we, we would be fine. We would be happy and actually grateful to be around enlightened people because that's happened. I've been around enlightened people. <sighs> And being around enlightened people is better than being around no people. Okay, so take that in for a second. So being around people in highest, highest vibrations feels better than being around no people. Right now you're experiencing, it sucks to be around people. It sucks to be around people because they're all low vibration. They're all low vibration. Compared to your vibration, they're low because they probably watch television, which is guaranteed 100 fear, 150 anger, 100 fear, 150 anger. That's what it does. That's, that's its job. That's its job. Some people, 
They define television. Oh, this is a box that's going to bring me the news and things I like to see and things I'm interested in or whatever. Things to kill time. Why would you kill time? Why on earth would you kill time? Time, energy, money are the only resources that you have right now. And time in the meat suit is the actual number one resource, right? So it's not that the world's overpopulated. It's that the world is full of low vibrational people. Now, so the fear that a lot of these people have, the fear that they have, okay, is their... Um, contribution to the collective vibration. So the, the uh, name Crowley Baba told me to teach the collective vibration as if it's a reservoir that we all drink from. And high vibrational people are cleaning the reservoir and low vibrational people are, you know, shitting in it, okay? So the low vibrational people keep shitting in the reservoir and the high vibrational people keep cleaning it out. So everybody contributes their vibration to the collective vibration. Okay, so the people in fear 100, and then they've been wearing masks, you know, sometimes two. Okay, fear plus that, a lot of people are going to leave this year. They're, you know, and we'll see if they attribute all those deaths to this president, like they did the la you know, last year. It's killed all these people. Okay, well, look how many this one's killed. This one's killed quite a few already. Okay, so you've got to remove the story of overpopulation and understand that that overpopulation was put there by the manipulators. The world is huge. I have flown... I, I used to say, I have flown all over the world, but really, I haven't flown all over the world. I've only flown, you know, between U.S. and um, Europe and South America. So I haven't even gone all the way around. The world is so huge. We have 7.5 billion people on the planet. If all those people raise their vibration... They're going to use the appropriate amount of resources. Mother Earth with extra carbon dioxide. The oceans absorb it. The plant life goes crazy. The fish have more babies. And then the bigger fish eat those babies. And Mother Earth is way smarter than humans. It's like crazy. Okay. The Georgia Guidestones want 500 million. Earth's population of 500 million. So they're the ones creating that narrative of overpopulation. Well, why? Why? Because they want all the resources of the earth. They want all the earth's resources to themselves. So they don't want us just eating and using and consuming their resources. Um, that's another fight. That's another level fight going on. But, but the earth can handle... 7.5 billion people using her resources. The problem comes in where the manipulators and the controllers create chaos and disorder. Okay, that's the problem. That's the real problem. Everything they do to children, the 2,100 children just rescued. Well, that's great. That is great. Thank you for rescuing 2,100 kids. But there's more. There are so many children to rescue right now. There's so many children to rescue um, right now. And the people who whine about the southern border, I know that they don't know about these other things. It seems like they don't, they don't worry about the southern border now. Hmm. Anyway, just relax. I know it seems like it's overpopulated, but it's just their vibration. It's the, it's the human vibration. So you're, you're right to not want to go out. You're right to not, I'm, I'm going to see a comedian this, uh, hi Chasey. I'm going to see a comedian, um, because 
I can laugh, but I, I can't go see my good friend's band play because there's too many normies. There's too many normies. I, so I'm with you. Juju. So um, agenda 21, first, first rule, reduce the world population of 500 million people because they, they want AI, they want everything, you know, but they, they just want enough people to work the AI. They want everybody dependent and they want everybody under control. That's all it is. It's an agenda of control. Um, but that's where you got the overpopulation. It's not true. Um, the earth provides more than enough for everybody that that's here. There's a total misuse of resources. It's absolutely astronomically disgusting. The misuse of resources is mind bogglingly disgusting. Okay. So if, if we weren't messed with and manipulated to fight against each other, we would use our resources in different ways. And it's like, I tried to do this thing in my town where we put a bin and all the fruit that doesn't get used by the kids goes to the homeless shelter and the Bridgeport rescue mission. Do they do it? Nope. Nope. They just keep throwing fruit away. Now, because of COVID, now they take the fruit. Maybe it's not because of COVID, but they take the fruit and they put it in little plastic freaking bags with a twist tie. So now people have to take time and they're paying people to do this. So that's our tax dollars at work to take every apple and stick it in a plastic freaking bag. You know, it's just like idiots are in charge. That's the problem. The problem, the real problem is that idiots are in charge. Idiots are in charge. And I don't know if we're going to get out of it. I don't know. But it doesn't seem like idiots hire intelligent people who have real solutions to problems. It just seems like they hire more idiots. So now we got to hire more people to put fruit in plastic bags with twist ties that are gonna get thrown away. What a waste, oh my God, you, that's the whole problem. So the problem is that we're wasting a sickening amount of resources. Absolute, total disgusting waste, you know? And the garbage that we create as a result of so much wasting, it's painful. But the beautiful world is underneath all of it. And, um, you know, there is a chance right now with the fight that I feel happening, there's a fight happening. Um, there's a chance that things will like comb through and like, we'll get rid of these knots and we, we can go to a place where it just makes more sense. Like it's just common sense, but I don't see a lot of people with common sense these days. I see a lot of people who want to give me what they're getting off the television. I'm like, I, I don't need, you know, I don't need it. I'm not available for that reality. It's just like they, the things they think are good ideas just waste so much. So, so pollution is a problem. Pollution is a problem, but you've got people choosing to make fruit in, in plastic bags and then throw the fruit away and then not just let people who are starving have it. So the earth can make enough food. But why does Bill Gates have all this farmland? Why does he have more farmland? There's a reason. There's a reason. It's disgusting. Okay. All right. But if he gets, well, never mind. There's, there, I see ways out of all things. Okay. If the, if things can, if the light side wins, you know, and all the bad actors are put in prison or killed for treason. I don't, whatever happens. And then things, and then the, the truth comes out and all the people with the low fear vibration, well, some of them are going to self-destruct because they won't, uh, they won't be able to take in what they've, you know, their part in all of how bad it, it is. But the people who are available to shift, shift their mind and go, oh my God, um, 
once we're not being manipulated, we can move the earth's resources around to feed everybody. We can um, stop manufacturing chemicals to put on food. That's very, that ruins fertility. Corn and soy shouldn't be, you don't eat it. Um, but the world is not overpopulated. That's one of the stories. All right, this is... This is.